Hi and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to the panels. My name is Zul Ida Habinasri with metric number DE20133. Going to present about my final project money presentation, portable filtration with IoT based water quality monitoring system for aquaponics, supervised by Associate Professor Engineer Dr. Nurhani Spindi Muhammad Razi. So, this is my table of content, starting by introduction, followed by problem statement until the conclusion. I will go for the introduction. The most efficient technique of hydroponic and aquaponics is called nutrient film techniques. This mechanism makes it possible for plant roots to acquire sufficient nutrients, water, and oxygen. In addition, in NFT also use two main filtration, which are the mechanical filter, which means a physical trap to settle fish solid waste, and the biological filter to convert ammonia into nitrate using nitrifying bacteria. So the figure shows the radio filter, mechanical filter, biological filter in NFT. The goal of the project is to construct a portable filtration for the mechanical filter and for an aquaponic system and to provide an IoT water quality monitoring system as a as aquaponic water quality checker. So for the problem statement, it shows three root causes, which is the first one, the traditional filtering system. It can be difficult to do maintenance and influence water quality. When influence water quality, it produces the root cause number two, which is poor water quality, and the effect is the fish production will decrease, plant growth will also be stunted. So the root cause number three is no automation system in order to monitor water quality in the aquaponic system. So for the water score, users only observe by their eyes for the stability of the water and the rate of the fish or tree fertility to measure the level of water quality in the system. So for the objective, there have stated three objectives, which is the first one, to, de to design and develop user-friendly portable filtration for the aquaponic system. The second one, to implement the IoT monitoring system as a water quality checker in aquaponics named Ponics Mon. And third one is to analyze and measure the important parameter in monitoring water quality before and after project implementation. So for the scope limitation, they have four, four scope, which is use NFT techniques. Uh, the area of study is on the UTHM aquaponic system and the third one is the innovation of portable filtration are limited to mechanical filter only and the, the four is the four main parameters will be implemented for IoT water quality monitoring system are temperature, potential hydrogen, pH, turbidity and the TDS, total dissolved solids. So for the literature review, I will start for the three parts of literature review which is the first one is the aquaponics. Aquaponics involves growing plants the a variety of hydroponic system. The NFT is one of the most common design for small-scale aquaponics. In this arrangement, the plant roots are suspended in very shape channel through with a thin layer of nutritional, nutritional solution flows. And for the purpose of the mechanical filter, Filter as a solid removal by mullinesis et al. And filter can improve water quality by esteem A et al. And waste converting, converting to non-toxic form by Nelson RL. So for the water quality in aquaponics, there are five important water quality parameters need to be measured on aquaponic system, which is the first one is list of oxygen, total nitrogen concentration, pH level, hardness, and the water temperature. So, this is the previous study on the aquaponic mechanical filter. So, the first one is swill separator filter and radio flow filter by David J. et al. So, there is a traditional filter and there is no user friendly. There have a big size of filter and not easy to maintenance, uh, not include by filter and less improved water quality. And followed by rough filter using Matala Media by Matala Products. There's innovation from the from the brief and there's no user friendly and it's a quite big, not easy to maintain in, and include by filter and less improved water quality. And then continue by biocar filtration by car apps. Uh, there's innovation from, from the previous one. There have no user friendly uh, features and have a big size not easy to maintenance and include by filter and the fourth one the propeller wash bed filter use the bed filler by Pesifier T et al 
There's innovation from the previous one and there are user-friendly features have a big size and easy and not easy to maintain. And the fifth one is the portable dual purpose uh, water filter system by El Harbawi 2010. There have innovation from the water filter previous and yes, there have a user-friendly features, small and compact and improved water quality. So for the Aquaponics IoT water quality monitoring system related works also have state five and uh, four related works, which is the first one automated water quality monitoring system for aquaponic. The method used is uh, they can use uh, they can use the ammonia concentration test uh, and also use the blink application. And the and the second one is the IoT based water quality monitoring system for aquaponics by Muhammad Farhan Muhammad Bu'ai and he used microcontroller as the pro, uh, he used microcontroller Arduino Nano and use web application as the IoT application. The device can measure the pH level only. And the third one is IoT based water level monitoring system for a leak in a cloud environment by Deadlining et al. 2019. She used the Arduino Mega uh, in the microcontroller and also apply the web application. The device just can measure the pH level, hardness, and water temperature only. So, uh, for the smart water quality monitoring system using Wi Fi by Satish et al., they're using the SP8266 Wi Fi module um, and apply for the phone application. Uh, the device can measure the DO test, pH level, and hardness only. So for the literature review summary, based on the literature review, the project have set some limits to the project. Firstly, on the filtration side, the project can use several filter media or material that have been used in previous studies such as copper shell, corrosion, and others. The second one, the filtration part must follow the project objective, which is portable and easy to do maintenance. And the third one, and the third one is the aquaponic. IoT water quality monitoring system, the device can measure the quantity of pH level, water temperature, turbidity, and total dissolved solid only of the water. So, we go for the methodology research. Methodology research guided and followed by the project flowchart. This flowchart elaborates the flow of overall progress in this project. So, the first one go for the little review, to the site visit, system designing. Uh, prepared material implementation. So I have divided by phase. The first phase is system designing. The second phase is system implementation. The third phase is performance and evaluation. And the fourth phase analysis and discussion. In FYP one, I have done until phase two, which is the until phase one, which is the system designing. For the field. For, for the filtering system operation, this is the material going to use in the filtering, filtering pipe, which is the first one, mesh fluid. It can be used in many applications, such as sanitary pipe system to remove contaminants. Second one, sponge. Filter water through the sponge, trapping particle, and pushing only clean water out to the top of the water filter. Coral stone, due to its porous nature, fossil coral may absorb contaminants including bacteria and others. Cocker shell, seashell as by filter uh, to remove other substance in physical and chemical evaluation. And for the activated carbon, can use more in filtering filtration. At the activated, activated carbon also is special and adaptable absorbent that is widely used to remove unwanted flavor, color, and other organic and inorganic contaminants. And for the silica sand, water filtration water filtration system have long employed silica sent to provide the final touches to clean water and zeolite highly porous nanoscale cage in zeolite crystal formation may filter and trap tiny molecules and the last one mineral sand which is uh, because it answers minerals to the water mineral sand is literal in water filtration it changed the water's pH to a slightly inclined state so this is figures of the filtering uh, media and we go for the aquaponic IoT monitoring system operation. The left side is the, is the uh, flowchart, the right, the right side is the block diagram. For the block diagram, 
uh, it will show the use the four sensor and for the microcontroller it is uh, Arduino Uno SP32 and also for the output it shows the LCD display and the blink application at SIOT monitoring so for the flowchart starting by start sensor read and go for the Arduino read the analog and digital signal from the sensor and go for Arduino send the data to the this LCD display and blink if no uh, it will uh, go for the sensor read again if yes initialize the Wi-Fi module the SP32 blink app shows the sensor measurement and go for the continue loop which is if yes it will continue the loop and if no it will stop the operation and this is the component which is for the sensor pH sensor to measure hydraulic ion activity pH level temperature sensor to sense any physical change to a component's water temperature in digital output and a lot of the sensor to measure the amount of light that is captured by the suspended solid in water and the last one the analog total dissolved solids TTS sensor to indicate the total dissolved solid in a solution uh, for the component used in processor and microcontroller we use two types which is Arduino Uno and ESP32 so for the Arduino Uno to process the data from sensor and generate it to the output which is the LCD display and for the ESP32 act as Wi-Fi module to process the data from Arduino Uno and display wireless on the phone so for the output, there have two types also, which is the I2C LCD display to display the value of pH, temperature, turbidity, and TDS sensor on on site. So for the Blink application via Android to display the value of sensor and on the phone uh, by wireless. So for the preliminary result, uh, we show the design of portable filtration, the design of Ponix mount, the secret design of Ponix mount and the pH and temperature sensor calibration result. So this is design of portable filtration. The, the, the design is including for the cylinder, cylinder acrylic and maybe provide some material in 3D printing for the plastic top and bottom of the filter. So this is the arrangement of filter, filter media following by the by the by the methodology methodology part which is using the filter filter media and for the design of Ponix mount this is uh, the design of Ponix mount the first feature is the totally the Ponix mount motor Ponix mount device and the second feature is the water surface casing which is uh, it can float to the water and the third one is the casing for the for the one to measure the water quality on the biofilter. So this is a total system. The system uh, when it applied to the, the to the Yukashian Arcopin system. And for the schematic of Ponix Mon, this is the figures uh, shows the schematic. Uh, including the sensor, the microcontroller or processor, and the output, which is the LCD display. And for the calibration result, we use only two only because uh, because not have time to buy another sensor, which is the temperature sensor and the pH sensor. For the temperature sensor, we have calibrated for the two types of liquid, which is the ice water and hot water. So for the ice water, the temperature shows 2.5 degrees Celsius. For the hot water, the temperature shows the 69 degrees Celsius. And for the uh, pH sensor calibration result, this is a this is a result for the lime water, distilled water, and softener. Lime water we know as acid, and the pH value shows 5.3. Distilled water shows 7, which is the neutral, and softener. Uh, the pH value shows 12.4 and this is my future plan for for my for my project which is the first the first one is do the hardware installation and prepare the prototype which is filter and the ponix mod and the second one do to do the testing on site before and after implementation get the result on effectiveness of the system in seven days in average and the third one is able to monitor on Blink app, which is uh, to monitor in a, in a some distance. And the fourth one, 
uh, which is test on the filtration side either it is port portable and easy to do maintenance or not and this is my gun chart uh, PSM1 which is starting by briefing until uh, design the system and submit the PSM1 report so for the conclusion the project will continue to the FYP2 which in progress to implement the system FYP1 have a further research on particular part on a and fully explain in literature review and methodology and for the final result um, on testing and calibration will be presented after implementation which in FYP2 letter thank you that's all from me